different lighting of course is going to show you know a significant difference but here's the original grill cloth here and the uh, dyed grill cloth here and overall I'm satisfied here with the uh, dyed version you can see a little bit of streaking in there after it uh, dried that's kind of what I was looking for gives it a little bit of uh, patina some aging look to it and not quite as uh, bright gold or yellow as the uh, original grill cloth that I started with. So um, I think I'll just go with this and uh, let's get it installed now. Looks like we've got a few screws here to uh, remove just to get this wooden piece out of the way. And then we've got some staples along the side that hold the uh, cardboard backing in. All right, there we have it. Took some time here to wipe the uh, cabinet back off with Restora finish. Used it uh, before uh, just to do a little touch up here. And uh, it was a lot of white specks of uh, paint as well. So it took those off using some uh, 4 alt steel wool. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of uh, brown wax on here as well with all the hardware off the cabinet in addition to the grill cloth not being placed on here so I don't have to worry about staining the new grill cloth once it's installed. Alright, I think that looks a lot better. Let me take it outside real quick and let's put it in the sunlight and see if it looks more presentable. Just got the uh, knobs out of some lacquer thinner. Still got to do some uh, scraping here in the uh, grooves. And then uh, we'll touch these up as well. Let's go ahead and get the grill cloth installed. You can see I'm using a piece of chipboard uh, cardstock, some 12 by 12, 0 to 4 inches thickness. And uh, what I like about this thickness, in most cases it works pretty well for the uh, small grill areas, but you can double this up, just use some spray adhesive, um, same adhesive that we'll use to uh, place the grill cloth on the uh, chipboard and uh, get the uh, desired thickness uh, that we need. Here's my uh, drawings, took time to uh, document everything. So my cutout on the chipboard will be seven by 10 and a half, and then uh, we'll put a five and nine sixteenths inch uh, diameter cut here in the chipboard as well. So uh, let me go ahead and get started. You guys noted too, I mark the uh, back side of the grill cloth here with a uh, dot. So that's my uh, reference for the uh, piece that will be uh, down, of course. All right, uh, far from my best job getting that on there. You can see here I've got it uh, lined up. And uh, what I'm going to do is staple this side down first. Okay, I've decided to use a, a piece of double-sided tape on this side. And I've got plenty of room here to work with. So um, hopefully I won't make a mess out of this. All right, there we have it. Okay, the uh, last fastener there. Let's uh, take this thing outside now and take a look at it. Alright, I think it uh, turned out really well. Now I've got sun coming right toward the uh, front, so the grill cloth's going to look a little bit lighter under those uh, lighting conditions here. But uh, I think that looks just fine.
in uh, back in the shop here under different lighting conditions so I still got to wipe this cabinet back down and get rid of some of the uh, crud that collected here to the uh, cabinet but uh, I think that uh, looks more presentable than the uh, old grill cloth for sure all right let's get this beautiful uh, chassis back in I tell you this thing really turned out well <laughs> Just one, just one more kiss. 